Apple recently introduced the 6th generation iPad Mini, featuring a complete redesign, a larger display, the A15 Bionic chip, and more. The iPad Mini now effectively shares the design of the iPad Air with both devices possessing many of the same features such as an all-screen design with no home button, Touch ID in the top power button, and stereo speakers. Since the iPad Air was released a whole year ago in September 2020, should you buy the more expensive, older, bigger screened iPad Air, or go for the new iPad Mini? Let's take a deep dive into both of these devices from a comparative perspective and figure out which one is best for you. Starting off with design and size, size is the most obvious difference between the iPad Mini and iPad Air, with the iPad Mini being 52.2mm shorter and 43.7mm narrower than the iPad Air. This makes it possible for most people to hold the iPad Mini from edge to edge in one hand. It is also 163 grams lighter than the iPad Air. The compact form factor and low weight of the iPad Mini make it much more portable than the iPad Air, being far easier to fit in a small bag or even a large pocket and use on the go. Though the iPad Air is still thin and light to carry around, it simply is not as convenient to use on the go as the iPad Mini which is a device that pushes iPad portability to the extreme. The iPad Mini features an 8.3-inch display, while the iPad Air has a larger, 10.9-inch display. This means that the iPad Mini's display is 2.6 inches smaller diagonally, which translates to an almost 45% reduction in total screen area. The higher pixel density of the iPad Mini does compensate somewhat, however. Both devices have slim bezels around the display for an all-screen look. The bezels are the same size on both devices, which makes them more pronounced relative to the iPad Mini's smaller display. Let's talk about processor. The iPad Mini features Apple's latest A-Series chip, the A15 Bionic. This is also the chip used in the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro. On the other hand, the iPad Air uses last year's A14 Bionic chip from the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. Early benchmarks show that the A15 is around 10% faster in single-core tasks, 20% faster in multi-core tasks, and 15% faster graphics than the A14. This is more of an iterative improvement, so while the A15 in the iPad Mini does offer better performance than the iPad Air and it will be more future-proof with a newer chip, it is a marginal improvement that is unlikely to have a strong bearing on which device you should buy. Let's take a look on cameras. Both the iPad Mini and the iPad Air feature a 12-megapixel wide rear camera with 5x digital zoom and smart HDR3, but the iPad Mini features extended dynamic range and is able to record 1080p video at a range of frame rates, rather than just at 60fps on the iPad Air. The iPad Mini also adds a rear quad LED true tone flash. The iPad Mini's rear camera is slightly more capable than that of the iPad Air, the true tone flash may make it more suitable for scanning documents, and its form factor may make capturing videos and images more comfortable, but broadly the rear cameras on the two are very similar. Overall, the iPad Air is the best all-around option for the majority of users, providing a large screen for productivity and consuming entertainment in a slim, portable design. The additional $100 needed to buy the iPad Air over the iPad Mini is more than justified for the benefits that come with a larger display. That was all about the iPad Mini 6 vs iPad Air 4 debate. Thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.